Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some Pro League level strats with examples of how these setups, or at least setups similar to these, were used in actual pro games. In this video I'll be showing you the bedroom and bar sites, and I'll have a video coming out in a few days of how to play dining and snowmobile. Bedroom was once the preferred site for many teams, but since people learned how easy it is to either get a plant on an office or take solar sides using all the windows, fewer and fewer teams are playing it. This strat, or something similar to it, is how most top level teams are playing bedroom and office right now. Against library side takes, the goal with this strat is to deny attacks from getting control of piano hallway and top fireplace. Me just playing blue and stock. From here, he can hold both library window jump ins, although his main job is just to hold the double window. Attackers will often try to clear the mute out. If they're doing this, Ye can come from dining to bar hallway and support, and Aruni can also help out from the blue stairs. These three will pretty much be able to deny every entry point, to at least some degree, but if there's too much pressure, mute can fall back to basement. Even if Mute is forced back or killed, and the attackers are able to take control of library, there's still very strong long angles from behind the piano hallway shield, and as well as from the office head holes. These holes can also be used to stop attacks from pushing a Rooney top blue. At this point in the round, you should have hopefully gotten some kills, or at least traded some bodies. If you have, you can fall back to side and play for the execute, but if it's still something like 4v4 or 5v5, you're going to need to keep fighting for piano hall, maybe even early flank lobby stairs. You really can't let them execute with this many people alive, as you just won't be able to stop the plant. Against Larian side takes, Mute should rotate from games over support Jaeger and dining. Mute can hold the trophy window jump in from kitchen, and Jaeger can hold the west main as well as lobby flanks. Aruni should stay in piano hall. This choose two things. First of all, it stops us from being flanked while everyone else is focusing on solo side. But it also means if any attackers drop down to the bathroom window, you can apply a lot of pressure onto these from the uh, piano hallway window. You might not be able to kill them since they can play behind these pillars, but limiting where they can play is still very useful. Azami can use her barriers to allow herself and Warren to play inside bedroom and bathroom. There's a lot of easy to use but still very strong barriers here. The most important being here on the bomb so that you can play close bedroom door with a big window killing you, here in bathroom so that the bathroom window can't see into solarium, and here in solar. This one I wouldn't actually recommend playing behind, but it has a lot of pressure onto the solar windows and you can normally get the attackers to waste a nade here. This, this is good just because it means that, you know, you're less likely to get nade on the bedroom door. There are two main ways the attackers will go for solar side takes. The first way is by taking control of below and then walking up the solar stairs. Or what most teams are doing right now is just leave a guy outside trophy window to stop attacks from retaking the stairs and then opening the solar to bedroom wall and repelling in. Azami and Warden are set up here to try to prevent this. Warden can play on the bathroom door behind the Azami and shoot off the Havana pellets, or if he's forced back, Azami can either impact trick them like this or walk into the solar Azami barricade and shoot them. Much like when defending against library side takes, you really don't want the attackers to get into the map here. Especially since here if they get into solar, they're right beside the bomb site. So a lot of rounds will end up coming down to pre-firing the solar windows as the attacks repel in, and often rounds will be determined by who wins this fight. But by holding with the positions I just talked about, you're setting yourself up in the best possible way to win the round. Bar is the most picked and strongest bomb site in Shelley. The reason why comes down to how tightly together the defenders can play. This naturally creates a lot of very strong crossfires. This defense is again what most top level teams are playing right now. It tends around keeping control of library, since here on bar, whichever team controls library wins the round. The most common attack against bar is and probably always will be a direct take. This attack focuses on just taking the map control that you really need. Against bar, this control is library. Stopping the attackers from taking this map control should in theory be very easy since there's no really good entry points for the attackers to use, but where defending this site normally goes wrong is either an attacker sneaking in from lobby, like with nook or something like that, or the attackers overwhelming the defenders on top fireplace with utility and then just jumping in. Normally this would happen by two guys entering from library and one guy jumping in K9. The last two would just be on main door and the piano hall window, and these guys just stop the defenders from being able to support each other. So let's talk about what this defense strat does to counter these ways of taking library. To stop the attacks from easily finding an opening, we have four barbed wire and two beepers. These are spread around so the attackers will have to use utility to destroy them. And of course, if they destroy, for example, the K9 window barbed wire, then we know the attacks are probably going to enter from here, so we know to be more careful of it. To try and stop the attacks from overwhelming us with utility, we bring Jaeger, Omai, Aruni, and Azami. This way we'll be able to burn through most of their nades, flashes, and stuff like that. Next up we'll talk about how each operator is going to play their specific positions. Jaeger's starting in the library corner. He'll only have one ADS here, so he'll just be playing to waste a little bit of time and a little bit of utility. He should fall back as soon as they start burning him out. After he drops out of library, he can rotate back up the blue stairs and play around Alpha's side. This way he's able to hold any lurkers coming from bedroom side, as well as hold the K9 window jump in through the feed holes. Smoke's playing in stock. He can hold both library windows from here. In the beginning, while Jaeger's still in library corner, Smoke should just be holding the single window, and Jaeger should be holding the double. After Jaeger drops down, well, Mike can switch to holding the single window, and Smoke can start holding double from stock. Arena will play around bar hallway. Her job is to play reactive off mud, games, and main door. But most of the time, she'll just be holding main door. If she has the beeper and mud go off, or if they start pressuring games window too much, she can come help these, though. Finally, Azami playing top fireplace is the most important position. 
You can help with pretty much every push, library, main door, and piano hall, and because of this, it's very important that this player doesn't lose their life early by overpeaking. Your Azami barriers can be very useful here to give you more space to play. Here are the most important ones. Here on the chimney, this covers you from the canon window. Here on the door frame to piano hall, which protects you from the piano hall window. And finally here in library, which allows you to push into library if you're getting knitted out on catwalk. The other attack you'll see when defending the site is a full top clear starting from solar side. This attack has the same end goal of getting library control, but just goes about it in a different way. Since we aren't contesting bedroom side at all, we should expect the attacker to take this map control very quickly. This isn't too big of a problem though, because of just how hard it is to clear out the top fireplace and top blue stars positions. Well, Mai uses all his discs to protect the shield, and Azami can hold her position top fireplace. From here, she can stop the attack from being able to push for Mai, and he can just sit behind the shield as bait. From deep inside library, Jaeger can stop attacks from pushing through the office breach and killing Azami. There really isn't too much to talk about when it comes to defending against this push, since the strat really does most of the work itself. But it's a very hard position to clear, and it's important that we stay alive and use these crossfires to our advantage. I hope you guys have at least a little bit better of an understanding of how to play these two bomb sites. And like I said, there will be a video coming out soon with the dining and snowmobile sites for this map. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you think this kind of content is useful, and let me know which maps you think I should do next. Also, make sure to leave a like so I know that you guys are enjoying these kind of videos. And thanks for watching.